Hello, I'm Logan, and I know that that's an unusual name for a woman. And the truth is my mom picked my name because she thought that on paper it would be harder for people to tell my gender, and so it would be easier for me to get jobs. And now everyone loves women. Thank you, Mom. I, I have a day job right now. I work for a cannabis distribution startup. It's my job. So one woo, it's always for weed and not me, but thank you. I do, I work for a cannabis distribution startup, which means I'm a drug dealer, that's it. I am a drug dealer. When I applied for the job, they were like, send us your LinkedIn profile, and I was like, this is a legitimate job. And then I was driving in the middle of the night, up the coast of California, with a paper bag filled with $50,000 cash. And I was like, no, no, I'm a drug dealer. I am. I am. My drug dealing job, they keep firing people and promoting me, and I keep telling them not to. I'm now the head of marketing for this company. The people that laughed are correct. At the meeting where I'd have my boss, he came over, he shook my hand, he said, we're so excited to see the direction you take this company. And this is what I said back to him, this is a direct quote, I said, I'm only going to let you down. And I walked out of the room. <laughs> and I did. Yes. In, my, in my spare time, I've been, I've been banging a younger dude. That's something I've been doing. <laughs> to the people that wooed, I did not say how old yet. <laughs> Because he's 12. No, come on, that's not, it's not that bad. He's 25, I'm 29. It is a stupid age gap though. Like I've been having to learn how to use Snapchat. That's exhausting. <laughs> and him, him and his younger roommates, they've been introducing me to, to new problems that I've never encountered. Like I went over the other day and everyone was arguing because someone had come on the Roomba. <laughs> Sorry, in case you didn't hear me, uh, you know the circular robot vacuum, it cleans your house for you? Yeah, someone got cum on it. And they were all fighting over who did it, and I, I was way more hung up on how it happened. You know, I was like, was this an accident? Was he in the throes of passion with himself? And the Roomba appeared, right? Was it on purpose? Is this a fetish that I'm unfamiliar with? You know? or, or the Roomba, which is a smart vacuum. Was it trying to anticipate the mess? You know, catch that shit like a football pass. Also the 25 year old, he's, he's the only male roommate living in the house. Like, it was him, he did it. He did it. I'm sorry, I, I did talk about come a lot just now. Uh, do you guys, are you fans of Dirty Talk? Do you like it? Are you cool with it? Yeah, okay, just like six of you, good. I like Dirty Talk, but I don't like it for the reason I think you're supposed to like it. Like, I don't like Dirty Talk because it turns me on. I like Dirty Talk because I think that it's informative. Uh, I can explain, I, I was hooking up with a guy and I couldn't tell if we were just hooking up or if we were moving towards a relationship. Pretty nerve wracking. And then on a random Saturday, he invited me over at around 7 p.m., which is a weird time. <laughs> because I was like, am I gonna go over? We're gonna bang it out. He's gonna have me leave. He's gonna go about his night. I'm gonna feel used, you know? <laughs> and we start hooking up and things are getting pretty hot and heavy and he leans in and he whispers, I'm gonna fuck you all night. And I thought, oh good, I'm gonna be here all night, okay. <laughs> like, I think I just came from sheer relief, you guys. Uh... He was like, baby, you're gonna be so full of my cum, you won't be hungry for breakfast tomorrow. <laughs> and I was like, we're getting breakfast. 
Uh, yeah, you guys seem warmed up enough, so I'm gonna talk about my period now. Uh, okay. Uh, so the day I got my first ever period was the same day that Katherine Hepburn died. Sorry if you're just finding out. And my mom said to me, a great woman leaves the world. And a great woman enters it. Which, what if that was how periods worked? What if for a girl to get her period, a grown woman had to die. When a, a girl would feel her first period, she'd be like, oh no, oh no. I'm, I'll confess, I'm not a, I'm not a good woman. Uh, I don't know if that's clear yet. Uh, like, um, I did not go to the last women's march. Didn't go to it. I went to Planned Parenthood instead because I knew there would not be a wait. So. <laughs> I do have to give it to you guys. You took that way better than they did in Huntsville, Alabama. So, let's get on you. I did, I went to Planned Parenthood and they sat me down and they were like, all right, do you primarily have sex with men, women, or both? I was like, men. And they were like, and do those men you have sex with primarily have sex with men, women, or both? And I was like, if all the men I'm having sex with as a group are primarily having sex with other men. And then I was like, oh, that is my vibe, 100%. Yep. Uh, it does seem like 99% of the time the dudes I'm fucking are fucking other dudes. And then, once in a blue moon, Logan. That's what I think. That's what I think. I'm gonna, I'll tell you one more thing, uh, one more story about my mom, and then I, and then I am gonna go vape in the bathroom. I, so, when I was in college, I went to community college, and I took night classes, and my mom was worried that I was gonna get murdered in the parking lot. So her solution was to just take classes with me. Yeah. We took the history of the Jew in America, that was one. And you know we are Jews, but it's always good to, you know, freshen up, so that's why we did that. <laughs> and uh, the first day, the professor did the classy thing where he asked why everyone's taking the class. And he gets to my mom, he's like, why are you taking it? And she said, oh, I thought it'd be fun for me and my daughter. He goes, oh, great, he moves on. And he gets to me, he's like, why are you taking it? I was like, oh, I'm Jewish, but I wasn't bat mitzvah, and I don't know that much about our history, so I thought this would be, you know, a great way to reconnect with my roots. And he goes, oh, fantastic, and he moves on. And then my mom leans over to me and she whispers, what are you, a fucking suck up? <laughs> Have any of you guys ever been bullied by your mom at school? 